so as the title suggests today i'm going to tell you how much youtube has paid me um for 50,000 views so as you're watching this video my views are like 51,000 and something the last time i checked it was like 51,000 so i don't know how many views the video will be at by the time you're watching this particular video but yeah today i want to show you exactly how much kenyans specifically kenyans uh make from youtube so at least you can like maybe calculate uh, approximately you can calculate when it comes to like a hundred views a hundred K views I mean a million views you can know how much uh, people make on YouTube especially Kenyans now this does not mean that every single person on YouTube earns the same money there are so many factors that determine how much people are going to get paid for example uh, niche also like determine how much you're going to get paid the demographic of like the views where people are watching you from so there are many many factors that determine I mean how much you're going to get paid please have that in mind so what i mean is my 50,000 k views might not give me the same amount as somebody else's 50k views i hope that makes sense so yeah in case you're new here welcome we love you guys here please subscribe if you haven't what's the ads i'm always insisting for you guys to watch the ads and you know what if there's one thing that i love about you guys is the fact that every single time i tell you guys to watch ads you really do because i always see my revenue if you should so thank you so much if i ever ask you to watch the ad and you do you are really one please thank you so yeah let's get started so a little backstory of my youtube journey so for those who are new here um this is not my first channel you guys i had another channel that got deleted oh my god the amount of effort i had put on that other channel it's crazy every single time i remember that i always feel some type of way but i feel like it's out of my control so for those who are wondering what the hell is she talking about go to my first video on this channel i have given out the whole story of what happened but i'm going to keep the story as short as possible so this other channel i started it during covid i even feel like i don't have the exact timelines but i still feel like i had started way before covid so yeah back then um i had just discovered that people could actually make youtube videos like you could literally just film yourself and people would watch you the first person that i discovered and this might sound crazy but i'm honestly telling you the truth the first person i discovered was wabosha and that's how i discovered that I discovered Wabosha. Wabosha is the first person that I discovered and funny thing is I didn't even know she was a Kenyan and she was doing a hair video. Back then I used to think that YouTube was only for comedy and music so I was very shocked to see someone filming like their hair. That was crazy and mind blowing. So of course I started watching Wabosha and with that uh, the algorithm started recommending Kenyan YouTubers. The second person was um, Joanna and at this time Joanna was fully fully doing lifestyle like she was doing vlogs she used to go to uh, to a market for shopping and I used to be so fascinated I don't know if you know this about me guys but I am really into fashion hair makeup wigs everything I know it doesn't always show like when you're watching my videos you wouldn't really tell because I feel like I have not set up my channel that way but that is what i'm really really passionate about of course i'm also passionate about house decor but yeah i'm just passionate about everything else that i mentioned so of course i was obsessed with joanna back then now i was like in another country i was not in kenya and the first thing i was like the moment i come back in kenya yeah i am going to be a youtuber little did i know that it was a whole journey that was ahead of me so anyway, I used to see to watch Akina Joanna, who else? Akina Mandisaru. If you guys have been like YouTube OGs, you remember girlfriend Darius, Nancy Moy. Yes, back then. Back then, you guys. Hey, and then, I've really been obsessed with this app. <laughs> so yeah, um, I started watching them and I was like, the moment I come back, I am going to be a YouTuber. And true to my word, that is what I did. Little did I know. Back then, I feel like we did have like tips of how to make it on youtube i feel like youtube nowadays is so much easier like somebody could literally open their channel today and tomorrow they are monetized back then i low-key feel like it was kind of hard i don't know if it's either that i'm an i wasn't knowledgeable enough and i didn't have experience back then so i came back i remember my first video that i <laughs> the first video that i filmed i went to garden city oh my god i don't know if i can find that video but yeah 
so i started my channel and of course due to my lack of knowledge i thought that i would just post my first video and just like that i would blow up and i would become this famous person that was making like a lot of money and little did i know that it was actually work <laughs> it was actually like i didn't know how much I do not and you guys I know it's always the same for everyone like every single time you come across YouTube and you're like oh I think I can be a youtuber you really don't even know the amount of work that goes into being a youtuber and being like this successful person bro it's a lot of work but I was here for it because it's something that I enjoyed doing so one of the tips that um, will help you guys is if you're passionate I feel like if you're passionate Honestly, and it's not even YouTube. I feel like in this life, if you're passionate about something, you're really, um, you have the possibility of making it. So, yeah. So I started my channel. I used to post every single content that you could think of. Or if today I'm coming up with, oh, maybe I should do hair a hair video, I will create a hair video. Oh, maybe tomorrow I should create, um, what, a mukbang. I will film a mukbang. <laughs> like if you literally visited my channel, you couldn't you couldn't tell what my channel was about. And that is one of the things that contributed to my downfall when it came to that channel. So another tip, if you're starting, start with a niche. Niche down. Try as much as possible to niche down. If you want your content to be all about hair, yeah, create content about hair. That is just my personal tip. I know other channels that uh, give out uh, YouTube how to be successful on YouTube advice usually say oh you should test the waters try doing this try doing that but honestly I feel like niching down is the right way to go I used to do all those type of videos and oh another thing that really contributed to my downfall was those sub for sub <sighs> you know how you go to someone's con co content and then in the comment section there are people who are like sub sub back then sub for sub was like really huge sub subscribe to my channel and i'll subscribe to your channel bro that th don't ever do that i know i know you're like i just want subscribers but what good are those subscribers if they are not watching your content you get like there's somebody who might have like a thousand a hundred k subscribers and another person has a thousand subscribers but there are 100k ones they are not watching their content there are thousand ones they are watching their content you know the thousand one is so much better because at the end of the day you want to build um an audience you know your people so i didn't know back then so that really contributed to my downfall so yeah i continued like that i continued like that and then it got to a point now i was just frustrated and i felt like giving up and i was like no what no i really need to come up with a strategy because at this point i don't think anything that i'm doing is working so i tried doing vlogs they also did do too well like i used to get a hundred views in a vlog say so that vlog i have spent like maybe two thousand i have went somewhere i've gone somewhere i've had lunch i've gone somewhere like in a fancy restaurant um hey yo i used to do like use a lot of money and then the revenue was not even coming back because now if you get a hundred views in a video you're, you're getting paid one shilling and you've used two thousand to make that video yeah do the math it's not working so in my mind i was like now what am i going to do and then another thing that i used to do is compare myself oh my god you guys so back then i used to see like this uh newcomers that would come start their channel like just that day so me i've been maybe grinding for six months and then somebody will just open their channel today tomorrow they they are getting even two three thousand four thousand in a video and i'm like bro what am i doing wrong what am i doing wrong i even used to think that people just didn't like me or my content i was like yeah it must be me or my personality or it's my content and then one day i came across this video that um the lady was saying that the thing that is really killing your channel is because you don't have like your audience you're not found your audience yet and that made so much sense so from that from that day i started dishing down i knew i wanted to do lifestyle but i also needed to do something that people the lifestyle people wanted to watch so i thought because i loved 
uh, house decor that is what i would concentrate on so mostly i started cleaning videos i started doing cleaning videos because with cleaning videos you can like somewhat see somebody's house and yeah that started working oh my god i started getting views and all like bro kumbi i've been sleeping this is what i should have been doing from the word go so niche down so i started doing cleaning videos but deep down i knew i didn't want to do i didn't want my channel to be a cleaning channel and i know there are people who are successful and they they only like just do cleaning videos but for me honestly i just wanted to be lifestyle so i figured hmm, how am i going to like introduce the lifestyle this is about i'm talking about my other channel how am i going to incorporate the lifestyle and still the cleaning because i need the people to come back to watch my videos so i started doing some vlogs here and there i would like post one vlog and then like two three cleaning videos and that would work because the cleaning videos would also like people who are watching the cleaning videos would also watch the vlog so i started slowly gaining my audience just like that just like that and then i got to a point where now i don't get to a thousand views 500 a thousand views and at this point i was just like when i need to make it I need to come up with a strategy where like the views will go from a thousand to like two thousand because that's how you grow like if your views are get going getting to a thousand the other time they will get to two thousand three thousand four thousand like that so I was like uh, back then moving was like really really um, a big thing so I was like yo okay so since I'm in a visitor I really need back then I wanted to move into a one bedroom house I really need to move I really need to move to a more aesthetic house right so i started looking and then luckily i found now the other house that i moved into and yeah true to what i thought the views started picking up now i would get like a thousand this is now i'm talking about my old channel you guys so now i'd be getting like two thousand three thousand four thousand views five thousand and the channel was really really picking up and i was like you know what moving for me was the best option like it's working right but who is the devil who is the devil is like miss yeah mm -mm. uh yeah we'll see about that so yeah a guy reported that i was using his content i got a copyright strike and i got banned from youtube they deleted my content all the 350 videos that i had posted all my memories all the money that i had used all the energy down the drain down the drain another tip don't use anyone's content on youtube people are crazy out here people are crazy so yeah my whole channel got deleted and i started again and here we are right so for me to show you exactly how much i made from that video that i made fifty thousand views honestly i feel like that is such a big deal it might not be viral to you but i feel like it's viral to me i don't know if this is like going to be a discouragement or it's going to be an encouragement and i think people have this misconception that uh once you're on youtube you're going to make millions i should have actually started with that statement you are definitely go not going to make millions on youtube that is a lie in fact i don't know anyone who like even makes six figures on youtube especially in kenya yo but it's a nice it's a nice app if you enjoy doing it of course there is money but it will not make you a millionaire overnight so for those who don't know you need a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours in order to get paid you need people to watch the ads and that's why i'm always insisting for you guys to watch ads please watch ads please watch ads please watch ads that's how creators get paid and also creators get paid through a thousand views every a thousand views generates a certain amount of money so the amount of money depends on which country the a thousand people are watching you from it's a it's low-key a bit complicated but there are so many videos out here that explain uh more about that into detail so if you like i'm interested in learning more you can check out other videos this really is for me to tell you how much i made from fifty thousand views and i've actually made it into a story time and i am embarrassed so anyway before i show you how much i made let me give you a few tips of how to maximize your um your what your revenue at least that works for me so the first thing is uploading videos that are longer 
so i don't know if you know this guys but if you upload a video that is eight minutes and more you can put as many ads as possible and i mean as many ads as possible so with this of course you need to like obviously film videos that are longer than eight hours that's why you'll eight eight minutes i mean that's why you'll always see like creators who are uploading vlogs that are 40 minutes even one hour long that is because they are trying to maximize on their revenue another way to maximize on your revenue once you're monetized obviously is um creating content that can be watched well like that way this mostly works if you if you speak in english of course english is a language that is spoken so many in so many parts of the world so of course if you if you upload your video it has the possibility of being watched in other countries which means more money to you because other countries cpm is different from kenyans so yeah also another way to maximize your earnings is telling people to um watch the ad i feel like so many people don't actually know that that's how youtubers get paid so me i never even feel embarrassed to think, to tell people to watch ads just watch ads watch ads watch ads it works so yeah those are the three things that i know will help you to maximize your earnings once you are monetized with all that let's go to now my laptop i show you how much i made from fifty thousand views and so guys, uh, this is the homepage of my YouTube channel and as you can see the video that I'm talking about is my bedsitter house tour, the one that I recently just did four months ago. It currently has 51,641 views as we speak and then it has an audience retention of 6.31 which honestly i feel like it's a good thing so if there is one thing that i've noticed is that people need to watch your videos for longer so that um youtube picks up that people are actually enjoying the video and it will be recommended more and more to other people that way you'll gain more views so the point here is make videos that people enjoy watching so that they can watch for longer hours so yeah so in the real time uh my video in the last 48 hours my video has gotten 178 views which means that that video is still making me money as we speak that's the beauty of youtube even though um you post a video and you you get paid like a hundred a hundred shillings that video will still make you money in the long run so that's a good thing so the reach for this video was half a million you guys half a million that is such a big deal so most of my views came from browse features um suggested videos as you can see what else youtube search also another thing you need to make your videos to be searchable that's why uh, as you can see down below like if you such a uh, bedsitter house tour my video is among the first i think so you need to make your videos searchable through tags and yeah if you need more information about that you can actually google so yeah uh my audience as you can see is between 18 to 24 years and then 25 to 34 years i think that is the age group of people who actually watch me and i'm happy about that and then for the gender obviously female uh is more than male obviously goes without saying and then the top geographic uh is kenya and then we also have south africa and america i think but mostly it's kenya and that's why um my revenue isn't that much but i'm not complaining so yeah the moment we have all been waiting for so this video has made me um hmm, five thousand i need to see how much it has made it has made me yeah there you go this video has made me five thousand eight hundred and fifty one shillings as we speak five thousand guys five thousand just because i showed my house this is a sign for you to start doing youtube um this goes to show that youtube has so much potential honestly this goes to show that if you're getting some decent views on your videos uh you could be making like a good amount of money at least that's what i think